Hello. Hi, Sergi. So I'm sitting backstage at the Avon Theater with the amazing Monique Lund. Hi, Monique. Hi, Sergi. Remember Monique, if you saw White Christmas at the Stanley, we played Sisters, Sisters. Sisters. Now Monique is in Man of La Mancha and crazy for you. How's it going? It's going amazingly well. Yeah, I've been enjoying crazy, it. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Busy. You know, you're here for all of these La Mancha. Yeah, yeah it's insane. Insane, exhilarating, exciting, all those E words. Mm -hmm. Exhausting. Totally. And very entertaining. She's amazing. Monique. Yeah. What time do you get up in the morning? I'm checking myself out. How do I look? Um, <laughs> 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 get up about 9.30 or 10. I literally try to sleep in as long as I can. And what do you? what's like the first thing you do when you get up? I again? have a beautiful cup of tea. So your oh, tea... tea. So you start with tea. I start with tea. What kind of tea? I have uh, King Cole loose leaf tea that I get from Nova Scotia. Certain kind of black tea? It's a black tea. It's very... King Cole. King Cole. Nova and Scotia. Go online. It's gorgeous. You can order it. And it caffeinates you in a way that's like a bit more gentle. You know, you're like, you're like, ooh, I'm starting to wake up. I'm feeling good. But you're not like, zing. You know, Zing. yeah, it's awesome. Okay, so if you want to start your morning like Monique Lund, order King Cole Nova Scotia tea. Tea, so good. Sounds good. So good, right? What is it like? You have a daughter. I do. Charlotte. Charlotte. How, how do you balance? A lot of people ask this question of artists who have kids. How do you balance um, being a mother with being an actress? I think it's the best best thing for that because you literally have to leave it at home you can't obsess about your role or your audition coming up like you have to the moment you walk in the door your mom you're doing meals you're entertaining your kids you're you know I mean it's just it it, it kind of it kind of grounds you in a great way mm -hmm. and I find too like especially when Charlotte was very young I would have performances where I literally had two hours sleep and you're, di you're digging deep. You're like, okay, I've got a double show day today and I've had two hours sleep. And you either cry and you, you know, fall into despair and pitying yourself. Or you go, okay, let's see what's going to happen. And I find sometimes when you're performing, the more tired you are sometimes, the less you get in your own way. Mm. And the more you just give yourself over to the process. And your work actually improves <laughs> through exhaustion. I tr There's something Less in sleep, this. better acting. I don't know. <laughs> You're more vulnerable, you're more open in a way. It's interesting totally. when we get yes. tired. Yes, exactly, exactly. What role do you have to play? Or, if you've played it, do you want to revisit it? Um, do you know what's funny? I, I get asked that question all the time, and I honestly don't have that one role that I'm dying to do. I know it's, I mean, I That's there's okay. stuff that, I, that I'm interested in, like I'd like to do... I'd love to play Mrs. Lovett one day. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that would be so amazing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, do you remember the last interview with Steve Ross? He said that he wanted to play Sweeney Todd. Did he? We're casting. Apparently, we're casting this show. <laughs> Putting it out there once again. <laughs> part you missed out on? Like a child. Well, you know part. what? I never got to be in West Side Story. Even though, like, mm. looking at me, you may not think that I'm, like, a shoe in for West Side Story, but... I thought I could have been one of the white chicks. When she I was is a back shoo -in. in my like dancing she days, she is killer triple threat. Oh, this God, woman no. can sing, she can act, and she can dance. Show them your feet. Give me your foot. Oh, wait. Take it out. Okay, hold on. I don't Take know if it's gonna read. Oh, it's gonna read. Um, hello. <laughs> I want those feet. <laughs> you, so you're gorgeous. brave. I just worked eight hours in yeah. these sandals, and yeah. you just you just put your foot yeah. face right in there. You have a, a motto. Or something that you would love to pass on to Charlotte, something to live by, something that that um, gets you through or drives you. Positivity, for sure. I don't really have a motto, although I do, I do like the whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right. I don't know who said that. I think it might have been Henry Ford. I'm like going to look it up. And who makes you laugh? You, life. besides you, uh, <laughs> my husband and yes. my daughter, I got to tell you yesterday, so Charlotte had a ballet recital the other day, so she had like this little hairnet, 
and it was her first hairnet she's ever had and so we were getting ready upstairs yesterday and she puts the hairnet on and pulls it right down to here she's like Ruth Buzzy and she's got it like right down like and she tucked all her hair up into it she goes mom I look like I'm working in the fish counter at Zayers <laughs> and I was like where is this coming Sean Wright makes me laugh. He's my partner in crime this season. Yeah, I'll hope to interview you. him. He is very funny. He's so mean to me, and I love it. So is Mark. I think I have this, like, masochistic quality. Like, I, li I like when people are Shut mean. Up. mean to me. Shut up, Monique. Bring it on, I love it. <laughs> um, what's your secret pleasure? Um, oh, definitely drinking alcohol in the sun. <laughs> What's the perfect drink? Oh my god, a gin and tonic, but but with a beautiful like um, I don't mean getting loaded. In the yeah, because I'm a lightweight. I have two drinks and I'm out. I mean like a beautiful, expensive gin. Like you know, go one notch up from like a what's the guild? I can't even think of gins, but go for a Tanqueray or even like a Bombay Sapphire. Go yes. for a nice gin, and get like the tonic and get the perfect slice of lemon and get yourself a nice glass. You yeah, can't be the, drinking weight, that. the weight, the weight of the glass. Absolutely, you have to have a nice glass. And then you just have to get your sunglasses and your hat, and you just have to get yourself in the sun with your drink or your white wine. It's like that to me is like heaven. That's why I just like all I want to do is go to Cuba and Jamaica and just drink just it in the sun. It's the best. It's the best. We're gonna go have gin and tonics. That's what we're gonna go <laughs> Let's do now. Do it. Thanks for listening. Thank, Thank you for you. being a guest. Oh, and I love Sarah Jean. Lord, help the mister who comes between me and my sister. And Lord, help the sister who comes between me and my man.